COVID on the rise. Another day of more than 400 cases. And now the positivity rate is above 3%, a number we haven't seen in about three months. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. Now, both the city of Annapolis and Anne Arundel County will soon require masks in all government run buildings. And that is whether you have been vaccinated or not. And their employees soon going to have to choose whether to get vaccinated or face weekly tests. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in Hanover and he spoke to a county council member. Who thinks this goes too far? Mike? Denise Rick, he believes masking should be a choice. Now, the county's chief health officer says three in 10 new infections are among those who are fully vaccinated. And that's why county officials want people to mask up whether they've gotten the shots or not. A lot of people have been using their masks uh, since ever since. The cases have been going up again. Masks must be worn in all Anne Arundel County government buildings, including libraries and senior centers, starting Thursday. It comes as the case rate for every 100,000 people has surged 12 times more than what it was one month ago. The last thing we wanted to do is, you know, get COVID on the job and take it home to our family members, some of them with compromised immune systems. The county executive says he does not have the authority to mandate mask wearing in private buildings. That has to come from the governor. Taking it at the county level in county buildings um, is a great first step. County Councilman Nathan Volke calls it overreach. He should just allow people to get back to living their lives and allow them to exercise freedom. And I, I think that that's one of the big things with this is no one is telling people they can't wear a mask. If you feel more comfortable, absolutely go wear the mask. Anne Arundel County will also require all employees to either get vaccinated or get tested weekly. And the consequences for not doing so could be severe. There is an opportunity for progressive discipline up to and including suspension without pay. And the county executive has not been shy at all about doing things that are legally questionable and putting the county on the hook for it. Ah! And Maryland health officials are investigating an outbreak linked to the Cecil County Fair, which the governor attended last week. They're advising those who attended to get tested. Governor Hogan's office says he has not shown any symptoms. Now, here in Anne Arundel County, if you're not wearing your mask in a government building, they don't want things to escalate, so they're going to politely ask you to leave. Howard County is also reopening government buildings to the public, and they say you don't have to wear your mask if you're vaccinated there. Reporting live in Hanover, Mike Halgren, WJZ.